this weather is probably a little more of what you're expecting to see. Uh, if you haven't been to Seattle, you probably expect it to be gloomy like this. And I have to admit, it uh, has me not wanting to travel too much. I was going to try to get out of town and make the most of my weekend. But I think this weather is good for one thing. It'll get me back to, uh, back to the important stuff. The things that really matter. I think that'll be uh, what I'm going to focus on today. Of course, I'm talking about coffee. Sitting around, enjoying the day, drinking coffee. So I'm starting my weekend off here in Bellevue this morning. And I usually prefer Bellevue over Seattle if I just want to lounge around because uh, it's a little less busy than Seattle is. Not to say that Bellevue is not a busy city, but uh, it's a little bit better on the weekends. Only problem is today is Saturday and it's a little bit hard to find parking uh, here in Bellevue during the week and on Saturdays. Uh, of course, on Sundays, the parking restrictions kind of open up and there's a little bit more parking just because uh, it's, uh, there's a, a few more spaces allowed on Sunday. Uh, but that means for me, I can't sit and enjoy the park here uh, anymore because I've been here about three hours. So I gotta go. But this being Bellevue, I've got one of my favorite places to go shop. So Seattle Coffee Gear is always a fun store for me to shop in. And I can't go in there without buying something. Of course, I normally just buy coffee beans like this one. Uh, this brand used to be labeled Static, even though their name is Espresso Republic. Uh, I don't know why that was, and maybe they have uh, figured out that it was a little bit confusing for their brand. So they've changed it, and it doesn't say Static on it anymore, but I bought the same blend that I bought before, this LA Traffic blend. One of my favorites. Uh, oddly though, they've, they've now changed the packaging. Instead of it just being in a bag, they've got, it, they've got this bag inside a box, which in my mind, that's not good. I mean, that's just extra waste. But anyway, um, I may have to reconsider buying them because I don't really approve of wasteful packaging. But I'll enjoy this, uh, this bag anyway. So I've been getting a bunch of questions in the comment section and also emails about uh, my cork, how it's working and uh, what, what I use to uh, glue it into place. Now this is a little odd to me uh, for two reasons. One, I made two videos about the cork and I kind of thought that I was uh, kind of, you know, talked enough about it, but um, I guess it's a topic everybody wants to know more about. Uh, and two, uh, my cork actually needs a little bit of repair. Uh, w when I had put the cork in place over a year ago, I think now, I put it in against the recommendations on the can of spray adhesive. Uh, it, I think it's, uh, well, you're not supposed to put it on in freezing temperatures, which I did. Uh, you're also not supposed to use the spray adhesive uh, when it's damp, when the surface is damp, uh, which I did. And uh, so I did basically everything wrong. Uh, it's held really well, except for one little spot has just come loose uh, last week. So I got to repair that. So I needed to buy more of the spray adhesive I used. And this is the spray adhesive that I have, I found works the best. It's Loctite brand and it, it's the professional 
performance one and it's 300. The 300 is what you need to look for. It comes in three different varieties and this is the one that works. The other two uh, just don't have as good of a hold. So there's a the spot that needs to be repaired. Just a little, just come undone a little bit and that's it. Other than that, it's held up perfectly everywhere else. So if you got more questions about the cork, I don't know what more I can answer other than the two videos I've done about it. But yes, I have had one little spot here that has come loose. Uh, I had to find more of the spray adhesive that I like. Uh, apparently Home Depot doesn't sell it. I don't know if they ever sold it. I thought that that's where I bought it originally, but I had to go to Lowe's to buy the Loctite uh, adhesive, spray adhesive. Yeah, my the only other thing that I can add is, uh, other than the fact that my, my problem with moisture was the buddy heater. I got rid of the buddy heater. I don't have any problem anymore. Uh, but that is because I leave my vent fan open all the time. Uh, even if the fan isn't on, I leave the vent open. I leave my floor vent open as well. I know a lot, I, there's a lot of misunderstanding about that. I have a floor vent, it has screen on it. It's open all the time. Uh, my vent is open all the time. I don't know why that's confusing, uh, but I like oxygen to breathe. I'm a human, I'm alive, I like to breathe. <laughs> I leave it open all the time. Um, I don't care if it's 15 degrees out or, you know, Fahrenheit or 120 out. I leave my, my vents open all the time. That's why I have them. I, I like air. Uh, anyway, uh, I think that that's why I don't have an issue with uh, moisture in my van. There is the one little question and one little issue that I might have, and that is with my stove. So I have this gas one a dual fuel stove. So the one issue with my gas one stove is it's a 15,000 BTU propane stove, which means uh, it's propane, it's gonna be emitting a lot of moisture. And because it's 15,000 BTU, uh, that's a lot of, <laughs> of moisture it's putting out whenever I'm using it. Now, normally I'm only using it for a short period of time to make coffee or to to cook kind of simple things, which is mostly what I do here in the van. Uh, and I don't notice a big problem because I keep my vent open, my, my roof vent and my floor vent open. Uh, the other reason I'm leaving the cork up is just it's there. So why should I take it down? Uh, if I take it down, I'm gonna have to clean up the glue mess that's on, you know, that's underneath the cork. And so uh, I figure it can't hurt. Uh, I, I would prefer not to have the cork up just because in the summertime it does make it a little harder to keep it cool in here. Even though the cork is not insulation, uh, it does provide a little bit of insulation type uh, ness. And so I'm not incredibly fond of it other than I like the look of it. But there are also little spots like this little spot that you can see up here that I had a little bit of moisture when I had installed the cork originally. And so um, because I put it up wet, I had s some little spots that uh, are a little unsightly. Uh, it's not mold, it's just, uh, it's just a little water spot. So I don't know, I, I think I'm talking much too much about cork, but people keep asking. Uh, you know, you can send me an email and I can go into more if, if I'm not answering to your satisfaction, but I think that's it. Maybe I should do a whole nother video on cork. What do you think? <laughs> so here's one of these simple meals that I like to make. This is just a quesadilla. Uh, well, two quesadillas, I guess. And I'm making them with cheddar, which I know is not traditional, but that's the way I like them. And this is the way I like to cook my lunch with my door open. I know I'm just in a parking lot and there's nothing really nice to look out here, but um, at least it makes me feel like I'm a little bit outside. I should point out, though, that this is probably why I don't have a big issue with moisture, even though I'm using this big stove, is because I like to cook with my door open most of the time. This, this is why you shouldn't be stealthy. Don't bother being stealthy. This is a much better way to uh, sit around 
and cook your lunch and eat your lunch and live and everything else. Don't be stealthy. Leave your door open. I just ate the last of my cheddar, so I gotta restock. Trader Joe's it is. And look, REI, I'm gonna have to go in there too. Quite often, I will just get in the van and drive. I really like to drive. And sometimes I'll just drive without having a real destination in mind. So that's what I did now. And now I feel like a cup of coffee because today I've decided it's all about coffee. So I've wound up near one of my favorite places to get coffee, so park the van in a place that's free to park. And now I'm just hoofing it over. It's about a mile. And I'm a little out of shape. Well, I've got a bit of a craving for some Mexican food and I suddenly remembered that uh, my buddy Rick, better known as Dream Side Out, told me about a place in Wallingford. So that's brought me up here just a little north of Seattle to try out this place. It's supposed to be authentic so hopefully Rick is not going to steer me wrong. Well, I am sorry that I doubted Dreamside Out because that was absolutely worth the drive. It was actually good, authentic Mexican food right here in Seattle. So I'm amazed and happy. So thank you, Rick. And I highly recommend that little place. That was a perfect ending, I think, to a really rather nice day. You might think that I am not so happy to have a kind of gloomy, dark day, but that is absolutely fine with me because maybe some of you don't know this, but I headed up here to Seattle to, to escape Southern California summers. And where I'm from in Southern California, it's been summer since... Uh, well, I think February. Um, so, <laughs> so I, I don't think I'm kidding, actually. Uh, so I am absolutely okay with today being cool. Uh, got to wear my favorite uh, sweater here, and it never actually rained. Uh, got to be about 70 degrees, I think. Uh, and for the first day of summer or second day of summer, it's solstice, I guess, um, our solstice was yesterday. Anyway, uh, this was a very nice day, and this is why I came to the Pacific Northwest, and Seattle uh, in particular, was to escape summer heat, and this is, I think, the best weather in the country. Mm, maybe somebody would disagree with that. Uh, I haven't checked the temperatures in San Diego today. But um, no matter, because I've had a glorious day. So I think that's it. Uh, I'm going to have to sign off because 
that was a whole lot of enchiladas I just ate, and um, it has counteracted the coffee in my system. So I am sleepy. So this is it for today. I'm going to say goodbye. And also, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.